chatting now with Faisi Fatehi. He's the CEO of Corrent Technology. Talk to us about cloud migration. Cloud migration is a process of taking an on-premise software, conventional software, and move it to a cloud like Amazon, like Azure, like Google Cloud. There are two ways to do it. One way is just to take the software that you are running within your IT department and move it to Amazon that somebody else is managing it for you. It's a simple outsourcing project. It's not the smartest way to do it. It's one way to do it. However, if you take your solution and have an architect re-architect it, rebuild it, to take advantage of all the phenomenal new capabilities in the cloud, your migration to the cloud would be much meaningful and your solution would be operating in a much more efficient way. So you guys are simplifying the process. Uh, that's a great way to say it. We are sim simplifying the process. Also, we are automating the process. And also, we're giving the tools that somebody needs to automatically, graphically, and visually re-architect and re-topologize their software that normally could take six months to nine months to 12 months and do it all in one day. A lot of people, everyday people, don't even understand what the cloud is. <laughs> I mean, we talk about it all the yeah. time. Cloud computing is moving from computers to computing. So you are consuming computing and you pay for your consumption. You subscribe to a service versus buying an asset that is computers, hiring people who know how to run it, and then delivering your computing. You simply subscribe to the power of cloud computing. One reason why the term cloud is often in the news is because a lot of people are hacking into these clouds. How are you preventing hacking in your software? Now because cloud is more pervasive, we hear more about it, but the same techniques of somebody outsmarting the other engineer so basically it's a process of, is like how to avoid accidents on highways. So highways are good because it's faster, it's more efficient to get from A to B, and we gotta create more safety measures in our automobiles, in our transportation to prevent accidents, or to prevent someone who creates any undesirable outcome. The same also goes with the cloud. What's the next step in cloud migration? I hear you have a partnership with Google. Uh, we were very pleased and proud that Google yesterday announced that anyone who goes on Google Cloud and tries core and software, Google would give them $500 worth of uh, Google Cloud credit. Uh, we are very grateful for that. In a sense, they're putting their logo and their money behind Corrent in order to give us visibility, and of course, it would help attract customers to them. We also have great partnership with Microsoft Azure, with Amazon, with IBM, with Dimension Data, and NTT, and the rest. So trying to bring a whole new level of efficiency to cloud migration, and also to sassifying any software. And that is the second step in moving to the cloud. A lot of softwares not only need to migrate, but need to be disseminated and distributed efficiently to different companies like Salesforce.com. So we turn any software that we move to the cloud if desired into SaaS, software as a service. Again, saving companies a few years and a few million of dollars of development by automatically and efficiently in a matter of a couple of days turning their software into software as a service so it can be delivered efficiently with the lowest cost of service. You have over 25 years in the technology industry. What have you learned? Let, let me not add something from me and Andy, the founder of Amazon Computing, had a phenomenal saying when he said, start any project with the press release first. Come up with that press release. Figure out what are the benefits to the customer and start with the end in mind and work your way back. Thanks so much, Faisy. We look forward to seeing great things from Corin Technology. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate it.